Welcome back everybody, Gator the Legend here with you again with another riveting edition of Haters Going to Hate! <laughs> And of course, our first hating comment today comes from the one, the only, the sack potato. Let's stop right there. First off, the sack potato, it doesn't take a numbskull to figure out that it's supposed to be the sack of potatoes. The sack of potatoes. The sack of a potatoes. Not the sack potato. What the? What the? is that? You can't even spell, which means you probably can't even read, which means you don't even know what you're talking about. Let's see what comments you, you felt like you should leave, sack potato. Whatever the fuck that's supposed to mean. Oh, and he says, this is awful. You fucking piece of shit! I'll beat the fuck out of you, man! I'll meet you behind the fucking local liquor store, and I'll beat the fucking shit out of you. I have ripped apart small babies and the elderly for less, you son of a bitch. You wanna call me awful? Why don't you try to make even one video? Try to do even one channel. You can't even make your name correctly, you piece of fucking garbage! I'm awful. I'm awful. What's awful about this? This video is amazing. The channel's amazing. It's all fucking amazing, man. I put my blood to it. Tears in this shit. Our next hater comment comes from Thomas, Emma's and Mary, Emma's and Nancy, Thomas, M, N. And he says, hey, have you tried it? Have you thought about trying to be funny? Just a thought. Just a thought, man. Have you, have you thought about trying to be funny? No, you fucking idiot. Obviously, you gotta have the thickest fucking skull on the network because this is not a comedic channel. Does anything about what I do seem funny to you? This is a dramatic channel. This is supposed to be sad, and it's supposed to be deep, and it's supposed to touch you right in the feels. It's supposed to pull your soul out of your body and strangle it to death right in front of your face. That's what this channel is. So no, I haven't thought about being funny because it wouldn't make any sense to be funny on a dramatic channel. It's common sense, you idiot. That's right, folks. You smell that? We got another victim. Someone just got gator roasted. All right, my gator knights, sit back, relax, and get ready because this next one gets a little bit fucking serious. It gets a little bit too real. It gets a little bit terrifying. And it comes from the one, the only, Lucas Lapins. And he writes, Please don't ever talk about being in the gang business. Because we take people who fake about that very serious. If you keep mentioning this false information, you will not be around much longer. Sincerely, Nikki Centora, aka Mr. Mother you nice guy. Oh, 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 you don't mention about being in the gang or I'm gonna kill you. Bring it the fuck on, son. I've taken down people bigger than you just this morning. I didn't ever once say that I was in the gang. I said that I once was in a gang. That is my past. That is a dark time for the gator that I don't want to talk about because it's depressing and it's sad. And why you would even bring it up on a day like today, I don't even know. You know, you know today isn't the day to do this. That. You know what happened to me on this day. You know all about it. I was there. I was in the airport. I was supposed to have a fly, a fly out all the way to Chattanooga Choo Choo. I was supposed to go there and meet up with my Graham Grahams, and we were gonna go over to the waffle factory, and we were gonna learn how waffles were made. But no, you know what happened? I get pulled over by the TSA. They say, "Hey, you look like you're a little disheveled. You look like you're a little angry, and you look like you might just..." try to do something dangerous, sir. And I was like, no, I, I swear, I won't do nothing. I swear to God, I don't want to do anything on the freaking plane. I just want to go to Chattanooga, doo -doo, God damn it. And they said, oh, well, we're going to have to do a cavity search. I was like, what does that even mean? I don't have any cavities. I went to the dentist and they fixed all those. What does this mean? Well, they tell you what, guys, it did not mean what I thought it meant. It didn't. Oh, God, there I am, bent over with the TSA agent, elbow deep up the old anus. And I'm thinking, I don't even want to go to Chattanooga anymore. I just want to go home and I want to cuddle with my cats and cry. Oh God. <laughs> Our next hater of the day is Leviathan JPTV. And he leaves a comment, something along the lines of, I hope the Gator at some point realizes that is, all these fans pretend to like his stuff. They're all just doing it sarcastically. Uh, well, Leviathan, I'm never going to realize that because it's a fabrication. It's a lie, you see. My fans love me. They adore me. And they, they show up in troves at the store. I'm at the store. There's not an aisle I go down. There ain't people there just staring at me going, Ugh. you know, all over the place. They're there. And they love the gator. 
Gator. The Gator's epic. The Gator's awesome. What's there not to love? They're not being sarcastic. They really love me. They really love me. They, they really love me. They, they do. They, they do, right? They, I mean, they love me. They, lo they love me, man. The thing is, is nobody loves you. No one loves you. Your mother doesn't love you. Your priest doesn't love you. Your brothers and sisters don't love you. Your aunts and uncles, the people you met at the grocery store. Nobody you've ever met has ever loved you. Even your grandmother wished you would die. They wished you would get hit by a train. They wished you would have fallen down a well. They heard about Timmy and how he fell down a well, and they said, why couldn't that happen to Leviathan? Why do we have to put up with this little piece of fucking shit? That's right, Leviathan. That's right. You join the club because you, my friend, just got Gator Roasted. Yeah. That brings us to every hater's favorite part of my videos. It's the part where we do the very last comment of the day. And the very last comment of the day comes from Paul Serum Plaisance or something. And you know what he said? You know this guy? You know what he said to me? He said, beyond cringy. Beyond cringy. Not just, <laughs> not just cringy, but beyond cringy. <laughs> oh, Paul, you really tickled me with that one. That was so good. I mean, I've had a lot of hate comments over the years, but beyond cringe, it's not just cringy. It's not just cringy, guys. He didn't just say, oh, you're cringy. Hey, Gator, you're cringe. He's like, no, 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 no. I'm going to take this into the stratosphere, folks. This isn't just cringy. It's beyond cringe. It says beyond. <laughs> so good. It's good, dude. It's hilarious. I couldn't have come up with anything better myself. Oh, wait. I could. I could. I do every single time I fart. <laughs> well, what am I even talking about? Uh, the only thing we can say for sure, for absolute certain, Paul, is that you, my friend, just got gator roasted. Bitch. And I want to thank each and every one of you guys for stopping by today and watching the new video. I hope you enjoyed the new Haters Gonna Hate video. You'd think I would run out of material because people would just stop trying to hate on me. Oh, but no, they just they just keep showing up, don't they? But we do what we do, and we progress, and we move on, and we don't care. It doesn't bother us. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother you. It doesn't bother me at all. I don't drink heavily every single night and just want to run away and drive my car into a ravine. I never have had those thoughts in my life. But I want to thank you guys because you're here you're here and you're watching this and you're supporting and you're just, just good old friends man just good old good old friends so until next time i've been gator the legend and you guys have been hurting my feelings with the goddamn hate comments peace i eat shit on my tacos in front of small children i make a mess and then i throw an unusual tantrum why can't I only fit two dicks in my ass? Am I a meme yet? Am I a meme yet?